What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back or welcome to Lin Lin. Thank you guys so much for coming to check out the video today. As you guys can see, I am not outside doing a grocery haul, but rather in the kitchen about to whip up a delicious dinner for my family. Now guys, I have seen this recipe on TikTok as well as Facebook, so I decided that I wanna give it a try. It is called a fajita pasta. If you like fajitas, if you like pasta, then these two together should be delicious. I'm gonna show you guys all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using to make this dish possible. These are all the ingredients you're gonna need right here to make this dish possible. I've got my beef broth here. I got some rotini noodles. Now you can use any kind of noodles you want. I've seen them um, um, where some people use like the penne noodles, some people use rotini, some people use bow tie noodles. I chose the rotini noodles, so that's what I'm gonna be using. You're also, you're also gonna need some whipping cream, garlic, I got Parmesan cheese here, I got tomato paste, some fajita mix, I'm gonna be using some beef smoked sausage. I've seen people also use different kind of sausages, um, but I prefer the beef smoked sausages. This is the kind of sausage I always buy, so I'll be using this kind. Then you're also gonna use your peppers. You got your red pepper, your yellow pepper, your orange pepper, and then I got onion right here as well. And then last but not least, I got some chicken that I have already had marinating for a couple hours now. I've already seasoned it. Um, I use lemon pepper and I use slap your mama seasoning and I also use some Creole seasoning um, for my chicken. So I will be using all these ingredients right here to make this pasta, fajita pasta possible. Say that three times fast. That's kind of hard to say. Fajita pasta possible. Okay guys, let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut up all my peppers and my onion and my sausage. And I'm gonna get my sausage and my chicken going first, as well as boiling my noodles and then everything else I'm gonna add later. All right guys, let's get into this video. All right, so now I'm gonna put on my chicken and my cut up sausage here. And while these two are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up all the peppers that I'll be using for the fajita pasta. Okay guys, so now I got my chicken going right here. The next thing I'm gonna do is add my sausages over in my pot over here and get those going. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the mix to get those nice and crisp. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and let those brown let the chicken cook while I start cutting up all my peppers and my onions.
All right, guys, I got all my onions, my orange peppers, my yellow peppers, and my red peppers all ready. These are all cut up and they are ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and check my chicken. It's been a couple minutes it's been cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it now. Alright, now I'm going to let that continue to cook. Come over here to my sausages, give those a little stir. Those are starting to brown up all nice. Let those continue to cook for a couple minutes. Okay, so my chicken is still cooking. I turned them, but I'm going to have to turn them back over because they're not quite done yet on that side. But my sausages are pretty much done. So I think I'm going to take these off and start boiling the noodles now. So my water is nice and boiling. We're going to go ahead and add the rotini noodles. That's what the chicken looks like. Now I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit and then I'll cut it all up. While I'm letting it cool, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the fajita mix with all the peppers and the onions and all that good stuff. Okay guys, I'm gonna take my noodles off. Now these are done cooking. What I'm gonna do first is take a little bit of the pasta sauce out. Let me move that over a little bit so you guys can see it. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the pasta sauce out, guys, because I'm gonna use this later to put in the mixture with everything when it's all done. So I just want a little bit of that out. And then I'm gonna set this to the side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drain my noodles. Okay, so now that we've got the pasta out of the way, first thing we're gonna do to add to this pan to get the sauce going is add some butter. You wanna just stir that around, get the pan all nice and coated. Let that melt. Once you got that melted like that, you're gonna add all your peppers and your onions.
Now while that's cooking, you're gonna add you a spoonful of garlic. Followed by a spoonful of tomato paste. I'm gonna mix this all up. Smells so good, guys. So good. Colors there, those are some pretty colors. The smell is so good. It smells delicious already, and it's not even done yet. Okay, so once you got that all mixed up like that, you're gonna add some beef broth. And I didn't measure it out, I kinda just poured. Um, I don't know the exact measurements of how much you should be using, but I guess just pour and use it at your discrepancy. Next thing you're gonna do is add your whipping cream. And you wanna give that a stir. You just wanna let this cook until it starts bubbling up a little bit. Once you see it start to bubble up, then you're gonna add your key ingredient, your fajita seasoning. Then you're just gonna let that sit for a little bit, let it bubble up, get all nice and coated in there, get the smells flowing because it smells so good. The next thing you're gonna add is your Parmesan cheese. And this is the kind of cheese that I'll be using. This cheese melts better.
Then you're gonna add your pasta water that you took out before you drain the pasta. Okay, so this is all nice and bubbly and done. What I'm gonna do is transfer it to a bigger pan so that way I can get the noodles and the chicken and the sausage all in there. I don't think this one's gonna be big enough. Okay guys, I got it all transferred into another pot here, another pan. Now we're gonna go ahead and add everything else to the mix. Got the sausage. Got the chicken. I'm gonna stir this up a little bit before I add the pasta. Guys, it smells so good. And now the pasta. Okay, now it's all mixed up. I'm gonna just let it cook all together for a little bit, get all the flavors mixed in together, the sauce and everything. There we go with the Hita pasta. I got some green beans over here and we got some garlic bread over here. And this will be dinner for tonight. All right guys, that is it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.